apologize for that last the last the uh sudden cutoff of the last video i would have gone and just record re-recorded the whole thing except that you know i'm drawing it's not a thing i can re-record exactly the same so i'm going to just bring it back to here <laughs> so sorry about that i'm really sorry i don't i just my camera fell and then it the way i caught it it stopped recording so anyway you're gonna want to continuing on where we left off yeah this little notch here oh gosh camera focus so you have that little notch in there right there my camera does not want to focus there now if it could just stay like that so now we're done with this area all the uh larger details gonna leave out the fine details now for the sides there's this little thing that goes up right here so just this little box bit here and then it comes up and like that and then that's that and you know right below that is the light the lights on the side of his helmet so just little circles and then it's in a box kind of thing it's a little square shape on the back so that's what that looks like and then you can bring up the sides like the power cord coupling thing on the back and there's it and then it comes back to the, to there and that's the entire bottom half of his head and now onto the top like i said i'm bad at giving instructions for drawing so just do what i just draw what you see i'm gonna let the camera focus so you can kind of see that better it's there draw that <laughs> and now i'm going to continue with the top of the head so we're gonna come up do a slight diagonal line not quite curved not well slightly curved just barely and then ooh, don't want to go that far I was looking at the can at the screen okay so then you come across here and then over and then it's kind of hard to just go straight through it because you know it, it, that's how it is so then the bottom of this top brim here gonna bring it out a bit further than my early sketch just a slight backwards diagonal line and then just bring it up in a slant actually that's a little too far out so I'm gonna just uh, fix that for you all right so get the top of the head shaped out and now the details on it got to put those in so the bottom of it you know the bottom edge it's just basic line there right there i really hate my camera it doesn't focus at all flash on again can kind of see it but it looked really bad oh anyway i'm gonna leave it like that so that's the basic shape you can and there's a little like notch cat not notch but you know a divide in it that comes up to the top and all the way to the back so we're gonna bring it up to the top Make sure it's separated into two sections. Make sure it follows the same shape as the edge so that it matches up and doesn't look out of place. And then 
so that's that. And then last of the uh, larger features, there's this like round half circle thing right above this bit right here. And that's all the basic shapes. And now on to the smaller details. So starting off with, I'm going to start off with this bit right here, this middle part. There are these two little half circle bits on each side. Those are pretty simple to add in. And then right next to it, there is a little thing that comes down. Just fill up the space. And then right here, just a few details that just you know fill it up, make it look less empty. Then on the sides of the visor, it's just again, more fillers, layers, make it look less empty. And then up here, there are these Again, a couple of little half circles. And this bit actually comes over to about there. And then on top, right here, we have these two. I, if I was better at describing shapes, this would be a lot more entertaining because I would talk more and not just be sitting here drawing and describing nothing val not giving any valuable descriptions or anything I'm just saying draw this bit and you just do what I say <laughs> so then there's this little ridge there I don't know right there and then we're gonna add a little bit of depth to this gap in the front so first bring that up just straight up there and then a little more of a horizontal incline towards the back going up and then back up more vertical that just gives it a little bit of a more, little bit more of a detailed look to it make sure all these are at least relatively horizontal. There's some little bits in there. And then last of all, there's the uh, give it some dimension. So you can do this by either just drawing lines in or shading it. I'm going to shade it actually because it looks way better. It's not really a whole, it's not something you should do if you're you know just starting out shading kind of requires that you understand lighting which i kind of do so shade also it helps if your pencil is not super sharp when you shade that way Sorry, that way it doesn't like accidentally like really colored in, and make it look super dark in some places where you don't want it to look that dark. So anyway, shading lets you get a lot of edges. I would only recommend drawing an actual line for an edge if it's 90 degrees or if it's on a different level. So if you're doing like, say, if you're if we were to zoom in to that edge and look at it from a, the side, I would only recommend doing a line if it does that or if it is a 90 degree or more edge. If it's just like, if it's like that, I wouldn't draw a line through it like that because that doesn't, that doesn't really look good. It looks okay, but it doesn't look good on a drawing so like right here is a good example of that that's something we wouldn't want to do so anyway and also like right around here different parts need more shading than others 
Anyway, so... Man, I am so bad at this. Direction given. So this area is black. Don't shade it all the way black to the lines that are the detail lines because that will diminish the detail and this just like right there. And there. So you can still tell that it's supposed to be black, but you can kind of see the edges. So that really helps when you're looking at it. And there's no lines. So anyway, this bit is supposed to be round. So shadow up. Here. Sorry if I don't talk too much. This kind of is my thing that I do when I have quiet time. I do this really quietly most of the time. I don't make a lot of noise. I don't talk while I'm drawing because it doesn't because I can't concentrate. So that's shading if you were to just do just draw lines instead of shade it different differently just like wherever it like on here wherever it's like a darker shade you would just want to draw a line so like right here and then right here or just leave it because it's not super big and you could get away with just leaving it the way it is. So that's all that, and it, it's actually looking pretty good. I'm gonna clean up the edges a bit, get rid of some of the excess lines. Oh crap. I'm gonna have to redraw a tiny bit of it, this because my eraser is awful. It is the most awful eraser you have ever handled. So now I'm gonna just have to redraw this. Alright, so there. If you see something, if something just feels off, feel free to kind of mess with it, make it look, make it just work better. Like, just so it looks better. I mean, it doesn't matter if it looks right. What matters is that it looks good. Because, you know, you can have a drawing that's not 100% accurate, but if it looks good, people are going to like it. It's not going to matter that you missed a line or that you missed this detail. If it looks good, it'll be fine because I draw a lot, so I don't miss a ton of details, especially on Master Chief because I have drawn this style of Master Chief since 2012 when Halo 4 came out. So that's five, four years now, four and a half years. I've been drawing this armor. I have every detail. <laughs> Just laser etched into my brain so I can I you know like everything like for example that's the braille that's on his chest 117 in braille is just a dot another dot and then four dots so anyway <laughs> also those little latch square things shaped something like oh crap that's not straight so they're shaped something like that a little bit taller and a little bit better looking but that's not what they look like <laughs> I'm just I draw this too much <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so anyway, now that we've got the helmet down, I'm gonna get rid of this. It's distracting, probably. It's still there, because this eraser sucks. 
but you know, I don't need that. So anyway, onto the. Oh no! I dropped it again. Sorry, it didn't stop recording that time. So it's not an awkward gap in the video. But you know, it fell. I'm going to try never to do that again. But that I'm not going to make any promises. Anyway. <sighs> okay, Pfizer. So now that we've got all that out of the way, sorry. We can start with Pfizer. Pfizer's are very difficult because you have to take into account the lighting and the objects around it, depending on how shiny the visor is. And also, surprisingly, just a black spot. If put in cur if implemented correctly, just black bits can really, really help with the overall aesthetic. You can see now that black really already kind of bringing out the edge there. Don't shade everything. with it sometimes there are things you'll be like why would i do that and then you do it and you're like wow that looks amazing like maybe adding some slightly darker bits to like maybe oh, man. i'm really sorry that it doesn't look very good on camera my camera focuses is focusing on my hand instead of or what is it focusing on even it's not focusing at all it's just it's not focusing sorry anyway so it's kind of Imitate the, just like, get the appearance that there's maybe some buildings or a landscape. Off in the distance, you can add some darker, more geometrical shapes. Make them all, just blend them all together and add them on there, not super dark. And then you have that. And just a few darker spots. And don't forget to keep bits of it white, because you want it to be shiny looking. And then, we all know that in Halo 5, Master Chief's visor is cracked. I would do that, but it doesn't look quite as cool. <laughs> I would like to, but, you know. Instead, I'm going to go show you how to do a, how to make it look like there's a honeycomb pattern on it without going in and doing all the little bitty circles. Instead, you just do a few dark circles... Here, just do a few dark circles here and there. Don't overdo it. Don't like put them everywhere. Don't make them in a, like, a perfect grid. Keep them a little bit randomized, irregular, and then focus. Ta -da. There we go. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like down below, and honestly, comment in this in the comments section what you would like to see me draw or do next if you're interested in me drawing more stuff like this i would really love to hear it and anyway that's all for today and i hope you enjoyed so subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye